Here we go. Speed. Parking. Action. The heart of this movie is reconciliation. I love the, the reconciliation that this film speaks about. And when I read the script, I was so impressed with the writing. Well, I was trying to make something I wanted to see. In many ways, I think this movie reflects the church I would like to see. I really didn't know what to expect when I read the script. I was pleasantly surprised at how uh, sort of eagerly embraced a you know, rather controversial subject. To see a film that is really bringing the two, contrasting these two worlds and bringing them together. Being telling a story of people living together. The idea of forgiveness. That's the whole theme running through the film, It's forgiveness. There's a radical political element to this movie. To me, if there was ever a radical, it's got to be Jesus. I think uh, great stories oftentimes hit us at multiple levels. I think this story is one of those. And I think that's what a good story does to a person. It makes them look at themselves and see what kind of good things and bad things they have as an inventory and create a roadmap for where they want to go. I think the central sort of question that it asks, what is the best way to you know, get God's message out into the world. Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Well, is it going down into neighborhoods that are beset by crime and poverty? You got a black man and a white man who serve the same God but come from two totally different ways of dealing with issues and conflicts. To see these guys that are so far apart come and do this is a real act of God. That's answer the question. Why are you here? Well, you know what? You can start by saying I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Well, I've known Michael for about 11 years now, and from the first day forward, uh, when we were in Ecuador together on a compassion trip. I remember even Ben Pearson and I talking about this in Ecuador. God always wanted to act and how we wanted to make a movie. Michael's like, you know, bro, someday I want to do a real movie. I'm like, yeah, man, me too. My first reaction was probably what everyone else's reaction was, can he act? And I always felt like I could do this. And then I started studying with a coach and found out that I probably didn't know as much as I thought I did. But man, once there, ready to go, and there were people around, he would just kind of come to life. You show up on the set today, you'd never know that this is Michael W. Smith's first film. I knew that he was a fabulous singer and performer, but I, I wasn't quite sure about his acting experience. Michael has surprised, I think, everyone involved. He's got leading man written all over him. Talented, beyond uh, his singing and all, and there are other people here working on this picture that are just so talented. It being the first time for me to, to really step up and play a lead role, I was looking for all the help that I could get. Jeff Carr was especially a big help. He really helped me find out who I was as Ethan Jenkins and really uh, helped me develop my character. This is uh, picture number 137 for me, and I've seen a lot of talent, and I haven't seen any better talent that works on this movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's good, yeah. I think Steve uh, very comfortably plays the role of a director. There's a quality of his work I think has attracted a lot of the people, myself included, Michael W. I think everybody is here because of the work Steve does. And we all just, I think, had a pretty high respect for a man who knew what he was going for and knew without a doubt he was going to get it. Yeah! I think Steve Taylor wants to make this picture for the same reason that, that we all want it, is because of the subject matter. This is a story of ultimately, in many regards, how the church is, but how most people I know would like to see it. The heart of the movie is to challenge each one of us, to take a reassessment of where we're at in our walk 
this film is about reaching the people where they're at, meeting their needs. It's, it's a people movie. It, it isn't about a church. Some churches are creating a new model for uh, racial reconciliation, but uh, that's not happening enough, so why isn't it happening? And is there anything in this movie that helps to maybe figure that out? I think that people don't want to talk about race in the church. You know, well, we want to pretend as if you know, we, we love everybody. Yeah, and I think you're going to actually see human beings who are committed Christians going through, you know, problems of everyday life. And once again, it'll invoke the bigger questions of what are we really doing here and what are we called to do here. The story as it got going, it started to challenge us as writers what our values were. We were constantly reminded of how easy it is to get off track. My problem is that uh, I would rather throw money at a problem than get involved with problems. I figured that there were probably a lot of people like me who have that tendency, you know? I believe that I need to be helping the poor in my community, so I write checks. This is how we solve problems in America. We roll down our window, throw out some money, then drive off. As an individual, I'm challenged to be authentic and not just to throw money at a problem. I'm challenged to help my church move beyond our comfort circle. So I would hope that, that people who are churchgoers would go to this and this would feel like, oh, that rings true, you know, it feels authentic. But I would also hope that people who don't would go to this to see, well, well how, do, how do these people think, you know, or what goes on in a church? I would like to think that this is potentially a film that a lot of people would want to see just out of curiosity. I'm hoping that people actually see the humanity that's in the church. Hopefully it will, uh, it will leave people with something to talk about when they leave the theaters. When people look at the screen, that they would just go, we see something that we didn't see two hours ago. I hope it motivates people to really act in their community and make a difference. To reconsider their own preconceptions and false assumptions about another culture, another race. Their guards will drop, that walls are gonna fall. I really hope that this inspires not only our community, but communities across the nation. That they would come to the realization that God is not gonna do things the way you think he should do them. And use what they saw on the screen uh, as a mirror into their own hearts. What's important is that people see it and they start to ask these questions and start to think about the issues. But I think the big thing is just to forget about what your agenda is and there's a bigger picture out there. I think that's what people will walk away with. They'll be moved, I think they'll cry. You'll walk out with a great feeling. And I'm just going, I'm here for a purpose, and I surely don't want to miss it.